Good morning from, where are we? Alton Towers Resort. Indeed we are here at Alton Towers and this is the first family trip of the year. Of course I was here on opening day but this is the first time we're having a full family day here. Is it excited? Yeah, yeah. it's quite, um, it's not very busy is it this morning? No, which is weird. that's really good. It's a I mean, Friday. Exactly, yes, it's a Friday uh, in Easter holidays. So we had to spend, it's, it is going to be really, really busy. We do have some fast passes to use uh, courtesy of the park. Um, so uh, yes, hopefully we'll be able to use that. Unfortunately, it was a massive queue for the uh, um, parent swap, so we won't be using that today. Uh, but we're going to see what we get on. So we're going to head down to 13 first, so let's head down there. So we made our way down to 13, where it's got an advertised wait time of 13 minutes. We have got a fast pass for this, but with 15 minutes in the start of the day, we thought we might as well get two rides on it. So you excited, dude? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, you've not ridden this for since last season now, so um, are you a bit nervous? Yeah. You shouldn't be, dude, because you've ridden Icon, Wildcat's Revenge, and Steel Force, so this will be absolutely nothing for you. So, of course, uh, this is the place to head at the start of the day, because it's always the quietest, because everyone heads to Nemesis and the Smiler. So, uh, yeah, let's go check it out. So after one hour wait there, advertised wait time of 15 minutes, after an hour, it broke down just before we went on. Curse of the terrible ops of Alton Towers have struck it once again, uh, and even more so, 13. We're going to head to Williamsland, let's see what's around there, hopefully have a bit more but look, but I did see that uh, Gangster Granny was down, so who knows? Okay, we've just, uh, like I've got over the disappointment of 13 now. Uh, we've just been on Gangster Granny. That's always a nice one to cheer yeah, everyone up. I close my eyes. You close your eyes. So of course, that's a 0.9 uh, meter height restriction. So that means Eden can come on with us. And did you enjoy it, Eden? Yeah. You absolutely love Gangster Granny, your nine hour uh, dual tour. I can't, I can't, what's it called? Nine hour? Nine hour tour. Anyway, whatever it is. Yes, you enjoyed it. It's a great ride. Casper, do you like it? I liked it, yeah. So Casper enjoyed it as well. Robin, yeah, it's good, good ride? I just noticed they've done all the sky ride building. Oh yeah, so that's looking all nice and fresh as well. Um, of course, it's not oper operating for all this year while it undergoes maintenance, but whilst that's the case, they have actually done all the station, which is looking really, really good, which is good to see. And we're going to head back down to 13 now, because we do actually have a fast pass, despite waiting an hour before. Um, uh, we're gonna, <laughs> yeah, that the head's frustration. We're gonna head down now, and Robin's gonna go on it with Casper. So uh, let's head back down to the dark forest. Well, it's approaching 13 there. I'm not sure if you can just make out where the sign is there. It is once again closed. Uh, so it does have one of the worst reputations for uh, uh, ops in the country for the reliability of this ride. Something really needs doing about it. it, it it's terrible. But anyway, uh, it's a shame because it's a 1.2 and it's a great family ride. Um, but. Not to be, uh, maybe it'll, it'll be all right later on, but uh, for now it, it is uh, not operational. So we're gonna head down to uh, where the curse is at um, uh, and see Emily Alton. So Eden, are you excited? Who are you gonna see? Emily Alton and then they Oh, there we go. So we're gonna see Emily Alton, are you excited? Yes. Casper, you excited? Definitely. Let's go see you. Just sent down the queue line for the curse. Where we've got a five minute wait. Oh. <laughs> Eden's so excited to see Emily Alton again. It's her favourite ride. I really, really love this ride and the theming of it. Since it was uh, redone last year, she's still shouting Emily Alton. She can't wait. But yeah, it's such a fun ride. And of course, there's been new updates since the last time these guys in front have been on it. So uh, look forward to seeing their reactions as well. So we'll see when we get off. So just come off the curse there, walk on ride of it. And uh, in terms of the new additions, Robin, what did you think? It was scary. <laughs> it's good I fun, isn't it? I might go on it on my own later, but I don't think I can. <laughs> No, it's, it's good fun. I'd say I really, really like what they've uh, done. And as uh, John Burton said, um, a dark ride's never finished. So they're constantly adding stuff to it, which is really, really good to see as well. And, uh, and something in this country we are quite short of in terms of uh, dark ride attractions. So it's good that we've got this one here. And it's nice to have a creepy one as well, isn't it? Um, it's really <laughs> And it's even more creepy than um, Robin. Robin loves it. But Eden likes it. As well, although she had her hands over her ears a lot of the way around. Uh, but did you enjoy it, Eden? Did you like seeing Emily? Yeah. There you go. You got the nod of approval there. And Casper, what do you think? I liked it. He liked it as well. So there we go. So that's the curse. We're going to head down to uh, Forbidden Valley now, where it's these guys' first time getting to experience the uh, the Phalanx takeover down there. So let's go and have a look at it. 
to the approach of Bidden Valley here. You can see that the arcade training facility there um, looks a lot more finished and there's not uh, any construction fences around it now, so that's good. And uh, it still looks just as fantastic as ever as you enter it. What do you think? It does look good, Casper. It really does look good, yeah. It really does, doesn't it? Um, it's, and I, I love that they've got the helicopter down there as well. And it really does just uh, finish off this whole area. And the tentacles look incredible. And it's just how they all look really slimy as well, don't they? <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we'll head down to the uh, helicopter here. You can see there's actually uh, all sorts of uh, exhaust fumes coming out of it as well, just to improve that bit of theming. I don't remember seeing that on opening day either, so uh, it's great if they have actually added stuff to it, or I just did, didn't notice, but you can see uh, Nemesis Sub Terra there, that's got a 25 minute wait, so we might go on that. It's got 1.2 height restriction, Casper's not actually been on that before, uh, but uh, I don't know whether they're going to go on that or not. We might do later on, but uh, for, them, for now, I'm just going to go and head uh, and have a look at the new and improved Nemesis Reborn. That just looks fantastic. Fantastic, especially down here. And you can see all the, the tentacles here as well, and all the bits of slime hanging over there. You can see all the eggs warning live cargo as well, which is, which is really, really cool. In fact, I don't actually remember seeing all the bits of slime that was dangling around it last time I came, so that's really, really good to see as we head down here as well. In the Nemesis containment zone down here, and wow, this looks so good now. So much and the dramatic music as well. It's so incredible. I actually love this music. Do you like the music, Cass? Yeah. It's ace, isn't it, dude? So as we approach this area, and that's say one thing that I did notice here when you stand on this arguably the most intense part of the ride here you really do feel the wind of the ride when you stand on this corner here as it comes around it's just headed off now so uh, yeah we'll, we'll just watch it go around it's gathered so much pace through this uh, inversion there as it heads around it's completely revitalized with the uh, Nemesis Reborn improvements I mean even this fencing, it looks really, really simple uh, fencing that you might even see like around school or something like that, but it just adds to it in the sense of the theming and you can really, really feel all the wind of the, uh, the coaster as you go around there. It really is phenomenal. And then this part here, I remember, do you remember all those years ago filming a video of Casper here uh, as the coaster was going around before when it was the old, the old style Nemesis? Yeah, oh God, it really does about seven years ago now, you can see just how phenomenal it, it looks. Incredible now, it really, really does. Let's walk over to here and get a really good view of Nemesis as it comes around. Tentacles. It just looks so good in this grey and uh, bright red. It really is. And do you know what I think one of the pieces to resistance is with this is? Do you know what I think it looks absolutely amazing? You know, this here. I can see the claw is nipping one of the supports. It's really, really cool. And it, yeah, it just, just looks, looks, looks great. And, uh, and then the whole eye really is phenomenal. And it's a great addition. It's a great photo opportunity as well, isn't it? That's, that's the thing, isn't it? And this is Robin's first time seeing it as well in person. I've seen so many vlogs of it, <laughs> my pictures as well. So, um, what do you think? It's, really good, isn't it? it's impressive, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, here it comes. I just really love the animatronic claws as well, around the outside of the eye. See, it just goes around there. Here it comes. Of course, this last time we came, they've actually added some uh, of those red tentacles around the top. And the, I'm not sure how much that really adds to it, but it's, it's really good to see. I mean, I thought it looked good without that, but... Um, yeah, it's, 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 just, it's just good that they're constantly adding to it and they've not finished yet. And it does still look around the queue line like there's st stuff to add as well, which is good. I mean, I hope eventually they will sort out those claws because they do look a little bit jerky when they move, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they um, the back one. Yeah, yeah, but, but it's great that they have it and it's a great little addition. It's such a, a photo opportunity, isn't it? It really, really is. So, uh, yeah, that's great. We, we love this. Really, really. Is. So, I think you've got problems with your bus. Why? Oh. oh. What's happened to it? Well, I remember one minute we're there, one minute now it's there, and then the next minute I'm trying to get people to join my bus on. Oh, no, that's not good, is it? No, it's not. Do you think that could be linked to Percy? Percy? The, the guard that went missing. Oh, right, yeah, I've heard a bit about that, Percy. There's some posters up in that. 
saying like, oh, have you seen this man? And I haven't seen him. No, it's just like a massive game of Where's Wally. I've been looking in that thing there trying to find it, but that's just random people. So. Oh, God. I think, I think it's something to do with this phalanx, isn't it? The phalanx? Yeah, I think, I think they've been up to no good. Oh, right. Messing about with eggs and stuff. Oh. And now Nemesis. Right? What, like, yeah. for the breakfast? Like, scrambled eggs and stuff? I don't, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. But apparently, it's something to do with eggs. And then this Nemesis might have escaped. Interesting, because I like my eggs with bacon and avocado and toast. But... I'm not sure if you like Nemesis eggs, though. I don't know. Who's Nemesis? The bit, this big alien thing here. Oh right, that's what that was. I thought. Oh, yeah, I, th I think that's what's happened to your bus, isn't it? Looks like you've got some tentacles uh, sticking out of it. Oh. That might explain the uh, the amnesia you've got as well. Am I what? Yeah, yeah, the stuff thing that you can't remember. What's that? Exactly. <laughs> You're funny. You're a funny man. You're a funny man. <laughs> well, if you get it working, we'll come and do a tour with you. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to have to get like four of the big, strong people to try and heave it out of this heat. But... Yeah, it, it, it might take a while, so. Uh, Did you park it there? I haven't parked it there, no, no, I'm not, I'm not qualified to drive one of these buses. Oh, right. So, um, but when you get it out, um, I'll be happy to come and do a tour with you. Uh, it looks like it'd be quite a good tour. What tour? Uh, this uh, mushroom cloud tour. Sounds like a good tour. Oh right, yeah, my bus tour. Your yeah, tour, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Got to get the bus out of here. Exactly. Uh, when, when you get it out, we'll come and uh, we'll come and do your tour. But thank you very much, and uh, all the best for getting it out. Sorry, what? Your bus. All the best for getting your bus out. Should we say bye to him? Bye. <laughs> It's the first time I've actually seen it here. It's a three hour wait on opening day, so it's nice to be actually be in here. And you can see there's all sorts of water bottles and uh, there's little bags, a phalanx bag down here also. A little uh, satchel, which is quite cool. I'm not quite sure. Um, there is a uh, little swing here, pen, um, which is quite interesting. And there we go. I do like these uh, Nemesis Subterra. Uh, T-shirts, which are priced at thirty pounds. Uh, do you like this retro merch? Look at that, nineteen ninety-four. It's sixty-four pounds, so it's quite expensive. That, um, but I do quite like it. It feels quite thick and well made as well. But what Robin wants, Robin's after. Well, she was after the black one. There might be one further down, but um, the blue one's quite cool. It's different. Not as many people have that. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing on the back. Oh, there's nothing on the back of that one. We'll have a wander around the rest of the shop. So they're seventy pounds, and then you get your discount on top of that as well. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that, and we'll have a look. What's quite good is they have these um, little tidy boxes as well, which is quite good. And they're priced at ten pounds each for storage cubes. It's just storage cubes. Yeah, yeah. And these these water bottles here, which is quite good. So fifteen pounds. So here we are. We've got the, uh, the actual Nemesis alien here. Which is uh, priced at. I'm not sure what the price. Oh, uh, let's have a look. I think it's £25 is the alien machine. Uh, and, can't get a reflection there. And it's £18 for the car, which is that one. I'd say the car one doesn't look that great with the uh, um, detailing. Uh, but the alien one looks really, really good. I really, really like the station one. And that looks like a really great, because it's a lot bigger as well. And of course, the uh, the Nemesis bolts, which are here, they're priced, I think they're £100, if I remember right, like £100 for the bolts. Okay, so we've just come out of uh, Coffee Command, and uh, which is just located there, at the side of uh, Nemesis, and we've got ourselves a phalanx donut. Yeah. You're excited about eating that? Yeah. So these are priced at seven pound fifty, but it's four pound fifty with with your discount. So uh, yeah, um, do you want to take a bite and tell us what you think? Yeah. Go on, you take a bite of that, dude, and let us know what it tastes like. It, that tastes really nice. Is it really good? Yeah. It's quite a big donut as well, isn't it? So uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so that is the phalanx donut. Yeah, there's all sorts of ones. There's an Oblivion one and a Smiler one as well. So it's great that they're getting themed foods uh, here at Alton Towers. So Eden's going to have a try now. There we go. Is it good? Yeah. Do you want to go? No. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to try this now and um, yeah, so I'll turn the camera off and I'll let you know what it's like. So it's leaving for Bin Valley. We're not going to do uh, Nemesis Reborn today unless you want to come down and have give it a ride later on. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, to be fair, it isn't busy. It's, it's on a 30 minute wait at the minute, which isn't bad at all, really, considering it's a, it is a school holidays. 
So we've just had a, a wander around the, the new Nemesis store there. And what did you get, dude? I got a Nemesis model. So he's got the uh, the Alien there, which is priced at £20, which is pretty decent value because it looks like quite a decent resin as well. Uh, and then I tried out one of the, uh, well, we all tried it out, the uh, Phalanx uh, donuts, which it's all right. You weren't a fan, were you? You didn't really like it. Um, more of a Krispy Kreme kind of. Just tasted really bitter at the weird taste. Yeah. Eh, it was a bit odd. I don't know what the flavour was supposed to be though. Yeah, I know what you mean. And if I had the choice, uh, I probably wouldn't be top of my list to be fair. So just walking up to the energy station here. This is another place that serves really good food. and uh, But it is quite a considerable long wait. So uh, just have that in mind if you do want to come and get some chicken. It took us about half an hour to get some last time I was here. Uh, but yeah, I think we're going to head some, uh, for some more rides now. So let's see what's open. So as Robin and Casper have gone on the Mac powered coast, the runaway mine train, which you can just see here, choo choo, as it just comes around here. Uh, me and Eden are just waiting here, because of course they've put up the height restriction now, sadly. It's no longer a 90 centimetre ride, and it is now 1.1, which, which is a shame. Uh, but if it's all in health and safety, it's one of those things. But I mean, you're disappointed, aren't you, Eden? You wanted to ride this one, didn't you? Yeah, it's a shame. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things. It's got an advertised wait time of about 30 minutes, I think it was. So they've gone on with the fast passes, so hopefully they won't be too long. You all right, Eads? You looking forward to going on your next ride? Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, let's just wait for these guys to come off then. What ride? Guys, I've just been on the runaway mine train. So, Casper, uh, how was it? It was really good. I really liked it. So, you used your fast pass as well, so you didn't have to wait too long either, did you? No. That's good. So, uh, Robbie, how, how long did you wait then? It's about, it's about okay. two trains, wasn't it, went through for you, uh, and then you got straight on. So, what changes have they made for this year? Well, it just looked like um, just a different feature for safety, like getting off, different yeah. gate, and painted the lap bars. We might have been live last year, to be fair. I'm not sure I went on it last year. <laughs> You're saying the uh, rubber mats? Yeah, I thought I thought the rubber. Year, let us know in the comments. I thought they were there last year, um, but yeah. So uh, they've gone. There's been a few changes to that, as far as you're concerned. So. Uh, so we're doing it for you, didn't it? Yeah, it's but the kids that like could go on it. Yeah, it's, it is a shame because obviously it used to be 90 centimetres. It's gone up to 1.1 this trying year. Trying to explain to her. Oh. She's just shy of that. And she, she, it's the one ride she used to really, really look forward to. So it's a shame. Um, I appreciate it's for safety, and it's one of those things, isn't it? But yeah. and you'd never ever want anybody to get hurt. However, Indeed. it's just a shame when she really wants to go on it. But we're headed to CBB, so we're going to get her rides done now. So as you approach the CBBs, they've got a new sign there, which is looking nice and fresh. No, it's also they've got the, the fences has been painted this year, blue for this year for the tenth anniversary. So uh, of CBBs land here and blue for Bluey. So are you excited to see Bluey? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll see him. And of course we've got some that's been painted as well, so that's looking a nice colour. We've got some green fencing there as well, which is really really good. So it's looking nice and fresh down here, and we'll see what's going on for the tenth anniversary of CBBs land. So join the queue line for Postman Park, it's got an advertised wait time of 10 minutes. One of the great things about this queue is there's all sorts of little interactive games. So Casper and Eden are modelling them now, uh, where they're trying to find out where PC Selby's car is. Yeah, so I remember seeing this one Yeah, I think this might be a new one actually. Um, which is good because they are actually looking after them. And there's, yeah, so you can see it's down there, have a look at that one, where you can have a look what's in the parcel. There's little screens there, that's good. And you can press the button when it matches the one that we're looking for, which is... Uh, which is great for kids, really, and a little interactive way to keep them busy while they're waiting, isn't it? Yeah. Which is, yeah, it's good fun. Okay. So we're in the Postman Pat special delivery service wagon. And these kids have got to deliver the oh, look. parcels. I don't know how old we're going to be when we stop coming on this. I know, yeah. I, I thought when we became adults we'd stop going on it. And then it seems we've gone on it more than we've ever gone on it. Uh, especially since it's changed to being Postman Pat as well. I mean, it, it, there's a lot of memories on this ride, isn't there, really? It's cute. I did like it with these attractors as well, though. So I said to the queue line there, well, in fact, before that, well, let's just talk about who we just met. Who did we meet, Eden? Bing and Flop. Flop and Bing. That's right, we met Flop and Bing. Um, we had our picture taken with, oh, these guys had the picture taken with them. And now we've come over to the Go Jetters. So it's a seven minute queue. I'd say it's really not busy at all, is it? For a, uh, a bank holiday, uh, not bank holiday, for an Easter. 
uh, week. It's, it's, it's Friday. It? Yeah, it's a Friday as well, time of recording. So, uh, 10 minute wait for Go Jetters. So, we're going to go and uh, uh, go on this now, and then we're going to head over to X Sector. Here we come. spinner you can just see behind there which is spinball wizard formerly sonic spinball of course and uh, the, the fast pass works really well it was sticking an extra car on while we were there so there was a little bit of delay but we went straight on other than that hey casper how did you find it really liked it good fun yeah so basically dude that is pretty much ride happiness next time we go there you'll be able to go on it she's tall enough so that's crazy 1.3 for ride happiness um but can't go on but even can't go on the runaway mine train you know, these things are weird, but don't know how they work it out. But either way, we're going to head down towards X sector now and check what else. Check, I can't even talk. We're going to see what's there. off the wicker man there using our fast passes it took me approximately 10 minutes to go on the ride after a 40 minute queue which to be fair they've got four trains on they're absolutely flying those trains out classic uh, great coasters international wooden coasters it's absolutely fantastic mixture of wood and fire as well i mean it's 1.2 high restriction so it's great so it's a proper family coaster but provides a good level of fill as well what do you think casper i really like it and i was on road four he was on row four, I was near the back, I got the air time. So uh, now we're heading off to Congo River Rapids, let's go. So there we go, straight onto the rapids here, and oh, hopefully they've got the waterfalls on, which you reckon, Casper? Yeah, Have I they got them on? Hopefully. Yeah, let's find out, it's about to get on now. Here we go, we're on Remember Get Set Go. 15 minute wait. Arms and legs inside the bug mobile. And here's Eden, you excited? Yes! It's yeah, Eden's. It's <laughs> we are, this is Eden's ride. Right. Is there something special to say This is your favourite. That's good. As well as Emily Alton. No! Let's not play with that bit, Daddy. And then you get to go to a Right, okay. Keep your eyes closed. The bugs are all fast asleep. Shout and clap as loud as you can to wake up the bugs. Wake up! Shout and clap. Wake up! Wake up, bugs! Wake up! Well done, everyone. The bugs are wide awake. So let's go on our way. Let's bing and flop again. Bing and flop! Can you see? I've seen Bibi's land. Can you see Upsy Daisy? 
Why don't we give her away? Hello, Oxy Daisy. She's in the night garden with her friends, Iggle Piggle and Maka Maka. What else can you say? Ah, there's a close I've made a mistake and mixed up all the parcels for Greendale. Would you like to come and join my special delivery service? That would be great. See you later. painting some pictures? Yeah. What do you think they're painting? Rainbow. What sorts of things do you like to paint? Rainbow. The CBeebies bugs help to look after everything that goes on in CBeebies land. I wonder what they'll get up to next. What happens here? Anyone's going down there in the river? You get a bit wet. Pop up the tires and fill them with go go juice, ready for their journey. Hooray! The bugs have topped up. Hands are all. Thanks. You're with bugs? Yeah. Woohoo! It's a great journey ride in the bookmobile. It's always good fun. There's lots of things to see and do in CBeebies land. In the big showtime area. This ride can get a queue in excess of an hour quite regularly, so let's give 15 minutes for this, you don't really mind. I'd say it's a holidays in oblivions on five minutes as well, which is good. Well, I think we might have to leave that until, the, until tomorrow now. We're going to do the case one more time, I think. We're going to go and Oh, look! What are we going on? That's right. For day two here at Alton Towers, everybody excited? Yeah. Yeah. So we're starting the day with a ride on In the Night Garden. So I'll spin the camera around so you can join us on In the Night Garden. Here we go. Oh no! It's the Ninky Knock. Catch the Ninky Knock. If you know the answer, shout it out. That's right, it's the Pinky Pop. Here is a house. Whose house is this? And are they in or are they out? It's the Tombly Boos. How many can you see? How it goes. Yeah, they look a lot better for having a bit of a wash there, don't they, over the off-season? 
Yeah, yeah. look a lot better. <coughs> so hard a bit of work around here, so hard the shrubs cut back. This generally looks a bit nicer. There's a the titter for singing the song. Who's here? It's Maca Packer's cave. He's here. Yes. Hello, Maca Packer. Are you clapping your hands today? Can we clap with you? Ready? Maca Packer, Aka Waka, Mika Maca Moo. Maca Packer, Aka Yaka, Itcha Aka Oo. Um, um, Aka Pang, Ing, Ang, Oo. Maka Maka Aka Waka Mika Maka Moon. Who's here? It's Upsy Daisy. Hello, Upsy Daisy. Upsy Daisy, here I come. I'm the only Upsy one. I'm the only Daisy too. And Upsy Daisy's bed's been cleaned up as well there as well. Looking a lot nicer, isn't it, for all the uh, clean up it's had. Are you blowing kisses, Upsy Daisy? And it did need it as well. Yeah, exactly, that stopped working. I always think a hair should do that as well. See you later, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, these are working as well. Pontipines. It's the Pontipines. All together, off we go. Oh, they were working. They stopped now as we pulled past it. It's Eagle Pickle. Yes, my got a duck in the way. Eagle Pickle, Eagle Pickle, Eagle Pickle, Eagle Pickle. My duck. Yes, my name is Eagle Pickle. Eagle Pickle, Eagle Pickle, Eagle Look, there yeah. are all of Eagle Pickle's friends. This blanket was looking a bit minion. Wasn't Goodbye, Harhoos. Goodbye, Monty Pines. That's true. Goodbye, Tombly Boos. Goodbye, Macca Macca. Goodbye, Upsy Daisy. Goodbye, Eagle Pickle. So we came off in the night garden and uh, straight on to Postman Park. Oh, and I say there's some, there's some good refreshing in the in the night garden. There's quite a lot of painting just around the whole of the scene. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd say, I mean, I, I was being sceptical with the whole Merlin thing and uh, uh, it is its 10 year anniversary, Eden's uh, bashing away on the horn there. Uh, you'll, you'll notice earlier on uh, that this filming of this ride ended abruptly and the reason was Eden headbutted the um, steering wheel yeah. and ended up in tears so we had to stop filming didn't we? Um, so yes yeah, so we'll get the rest of it now and uh, already it seems like it's going to be not as busy today as we thought but we're just going to work our way around and have a bit of a mooch and see what we come to but uh, everything's looking quite good so far. Yay! Well, come here, Bacon! Come here, say hello, Bacon! Do you have a nice Look this way, big smiles! Do, the pose. do the big yeah. pose, Eden! Like this? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> So we've come out from CBB's land and we're glad to be out of there. Robin can't stop sneezing. One thing we have noticed is they've got all the, the grassed area fenced off there. It looks like they've reseeded it so it can look all nice for summer. Hopefully it won't be a case of just uh, dumping a load of stuff on there and uh, ruining the grass again. But Or oh, put something more permanent there. That would be quite good, wouldn't it? If they, uh, She's put like a hard stand in there, yeah, don't they? Yeah, because it's a shame because it just turns into a bog every single year. But yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to see that they have spent a bit of money even down to having these little... Uh, Banners up looks quite nice, doesn't it? Something different, and uh, yeah, I've spent quite a bit of money in doing it up, and it looks quite nice and fresh so far. So, uh, yeah, really enjoying it. One of the great things about coming for a couple of days at Alton Towers is coming to check out these beautiful gardens, and we don't often get to come down here, do we? No, we don't. 
So this is really, really nice that you get to come down here. And uh, it's easy to forget when you're going around all the rides in Forbidden Valley and X sector that there is these incredible uh, areas. Well, it's just nice to come for a bit of a wander around, really. So it's so lucky that um, the park actually has this area, which is, of course, one of the reasons why they can't develop all of the park. But the park itself is absolutely huge, and uh, all of it is occupied with these uh, gardens, which are enormous. What do you think of them, Casper? It's really good, the gardens. I really like it. Yeah. You can see they've got all these signposts here for uh, to direct you, because it'd be quite easy to get yourself lost when wandering around in these uh, gardens as well. Well, it looks like the arcade is open. Let's go inside the training facility and have a look. Come here. Oh, it's like the key masters. Always like playing the key masters. You get on one of these, try and get into the hole, get the exact match, and you win the prize that is there. Very difficult though. Of course, we've got the speed of light there. The speed of light, Robin did that. You did the speed of light over at Dave and Buster's, didn't you? I did, yeah. And uh, yes, we've got speed of light here as well. The bowling champ. We've got the skill cut. The skill cut's really difficult because uh, it doesn't do it on the first time. And the magic arrow, that's another really tough one. Lots of really tough ones. Oh. Disappointing that we've not changed the change machine. Exactly, I'd like to have seen some new machines here as well. And of course, there's a big grabber, so you can win the Nemesis thing. But we've already got one, so we won't be doing that one today. Yeah, it looks cool in here. Yeah, that's Emily's play thing there. Does that make you a bit creeped out? A little bit creepy? <laughs> she does. Right, we're going to go and uh, meet Emily Alton. Let's go, excited? Let's go. Terrifying that. Yes. Is it scarier than MLA or is it? No, it's scary. <laughs> yes, well, do let me know if you see anything strange. That's just rather quite strange. I don't like strange things. They're scary. I think your head's on backwards. I beg your pardon? Your head's on backwards. I don't know what you mean. Okay. Well, I did wake up with a stiff feeling in my neck, so there might be. I, I, I can imagine. Yes, this is what happens when you don't get enough sleep. Make sure you get enough sleep, otherwise you'll end up. Backwards. Well, take care now. Hi. 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 H